Alright guys, we're doing another minifigure review this Friday and today we have a modern military minifigure. This is another custom painted and a lot of custom parts on this. And this one I did myself. Like I said, these are all old minifigures. I haven't done a custom painted minifigure in years. So this one's probably at least three years old. And uh, this is when I was really into modern military. I do want to do one quick shout out though. This is going to be kind of hard to show, but in the background you can see my military Jeep. This is back in stock on my website. I'll put a link in the description. I made another batch of 30 of them. They're going fast already, and uh, they're $30 a piece. And if you want a cool World War II military Jeep, um, definitely check it out. Link in the description. Those are finally back in stock after a lot of you guys asking me. So, anyways, moving on. Modern military minifigure. This one's pretty cool. I was kind of going for a private military contractor type of vibe and um, I think it turned out pretty good. So basically his main, obviously his main color is dark tan and then we have kind of a just a generic white t-shirt and then he's got kind of like, maybe it's more of a tank top because he's got no sleeves but uh, as you can see I'm just going to do a quick 360 and then we'll kind of go into it a little bit more but um, I believe this one I was kind of trying to base it off of a Battlefield figure, but uh, I don't really remember to be honest with you guys. But let's just start going, you know, going through it like I normally do. So head to toe. So on top, he's got a modern military. It's a, I don't, I think it's like a BX helmet they call it, and uh, it's dark tan. And then I painted on the black. I believe that's like, I don't want to say it's night. That's not night vision. That's like. Um, I don't know what that is. I think it's like a light or something. And then on the back, you can see like the Comlink setup. And this guy does have head a headset in dark tan. And you can see I painted the earmuffs or the earmuff pieces dark bluish gray. And then I painted the tip of the mic in dark bluish gray as well, just to give it kind of a matching contrast. Then I actually sanded off. There was a front attachment for the flip down night sights or the actual night vision goggles. I sanded that off just so it looks a little bit cleaner and uh, that's definitely, it definitely looks a lot better that way. So that's why that's kind of, if you see right there, it's kind of flat there. I actually sanded that down. And then the head on this guy is actually from my urban, what do I call him? An urban soldier? Urban, I think just an urban soldier. But normally those are printed in a tan. This one I printed in a white. And I actually have, let me grab this. I actually have, this is what the original one looks like. So you can see how I am based. Actually, it would be cooler if I use these arms on this guy. Add some tattoos to him. I should have swapped that out. But uh, yeah, so there's the head print. You can see I normally did it on a tan figure. This one is on a white. I think the white looks pretty cool. It matches his white t-shirt, so that's kind of the matching contrast I was going with there. So the main three colors are dark tan, you know, for the vest, the uh, helmet, headset, backpack. Um, then you got the white with his, or not his goggles, but his head, and then his uh, t-shirt. And then you've got dark bluish gray accents with the hands and then the earmuffs and all that. So that's kind of the thought process I was going through there. And then moving on to the vest, tiny tactical vest, super sweet vest. This one, I believe it might've been black to start off with and I went over it with my own dark tan paint. And uh, you can see, I really should have painted this backpack to match that as well. Um, and uh, so I glued that backpack on there to give him kind of some bulk, make him look a little bit bulkier with some more gear. And uh, you can see I actually sculpted this uh, shamog or um, bandana basically kind of around his neck, but uh, more resting on his, um, not on his face, because you can see obviously the print. He's got a white ski mask or something, you know, covering up his face and his nose. But uh, I wanted to add kind of a scarf, a tactical scarf as some people call it. But I wanted to add that, so I sculpted that. And then I painted, like I said, I painted the vest, the uh, tactical scarf, and then the legs are actually painted in the same dark tan color. And then I actually dry brushed them with a black and silver. Not as much silver as there is black, but you can see I kind of wanted to make it look a little bit dirty and uh, kind of well used. So that's kind of why you can see some black there. I don't know if you can see, you can see some there on the left leg. Um, there's the back, just you know, dark tan. There's a little bit of it on the right leg as well. But uh, once again, I just wanted to make him look a little bit more grubby and uh, a little bit more like he's actually doing some work out in the field. And then 
Once again, the legs are painted to match, same dark tan color scheme. And then he's actually got tiny tactical knee pads. Those things are awesome. Little details like that make a huge difference. So he's got a set of those. Those are permanently glued on there. And then he's got black painted boots. Quick and easy, that's pretty simple to do. You just paint those straight around and um, makes it, you know, black goes with everything, so I'm not worried about that. And uh, if anything, the black matches his gun, which we, we can talk about, is a uh, just a basic M4 AR-15. He's got it in gunmetal there, and then I dry brushed the main receiver and foregrip section with the same dark tan that I used on his vest and all that, just to give it, like, once again, make it look a little bit grubby, not look brand new and um, just make it look cool. And then I also painted the barrel, the magazine, and the stock black just to add some more accents and uh, to break up the color a little bit. And uh, that just coincidentally matches with the boots quite nicely. So overall, I think this is a pretty sweet minifigure. I, I do think I should have swapped out those arms because this guy's got tattoo printed arms. I think that would be cool to swap out. I might actually do that after this video. But uh, yeah, guys, that's gonna do it for this quick minifigure review. Let me know what you guys think of this figure. If you want me to do more figures like this, um, not only review them, but possibly make them live on the channel. Let me know in the comments down below. I think that'd be fun to get back into. I kind of miss doing the custom one-off minifigures like this. I think it's really cool. But uh, let me know in the comments down below. I'm posting daily now, so make sure you guys check out some more videos. I'll put those up on the screen right here and here. And subscribe by clicking right there. Make sure you guys check out that military Jeep if you want one. Once again, I made a batch of 30. They're already going quick. So definitely take advantage of that link in the description and I'll see you guys in tomorrow's video. Peace out.